Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Uh, here as usual to talk through all of the wax that I melted this week. So um, I'll talk through everything that I finished first and then I'll get on to the stuff that I did not finish. Uh, we are in Australia in the middle of summer. I'm summer melting. Um, the weather's been quite lovely this week. I think we've got some warm weather again next week. So yeah, that's just um, kind of where my melting's at at the moment. So um, let's start with what I'm melting in here right now. So, Supertard's Blood Orange Club Soda. So, this is Blood Orange Fizzy Cherry Soda Plum and Lemon Sugar. This I like. It's a nice, deep, fruity scent with a bit of fizz. Um, and I'm glad it's fizzy, but it's a bit different. Like, it's not your typical kind of lemon-lime fizzy, but it's also not like a ginger ale. I don't know about Fizzy Cherry Soda, if that's an oil or a combo, but I don't know. I like it like it's not sending like it's not like setting the world on fire or anything but I am enjoying it it is throwing quite well in here uh, it is possibly a repurchase like it is one I have enjoyed these are the two scoops that I finished this week always like finishing a scoop so um, surprise sweet bread from scoopable so strawberry jam blueberry muffins and sweet bread have enjoyed this one um, it reminds me very much of Wildberry, like that Wildberry type scent, which I think Wildberry is kind of like a strawberry blueberry, but maybe with some other berries as well, so it kind of makes sense. It has a nice, it is very berry, but there is a nice um, bakery sort of scent anchoring this one too. So I have enjoyed this one. It's kind of medium high throw. I don't know if I need to get it again. Um, it's not one that's like screaming out for repurchase, but it was nice. And then I did this uh, Waxy Taffy Tub of Taffy in Tangerine Sky. So this is ripe and luscious grapefruit, sweet tangerines and juicy pineapple mingle with jasmine and apricot with a creamy vanilla sandalwood finish. I have enjoyed this one. I will say on this melt, I found it did not perform as well as it has in the past. So this one has been historically a pretty strong performer. Um, I think I've had it for probably close to two years now though. So... Yeah, maybe Waxy Taffy is not a brand I have had a huge amount of experience with, so maybe it just didn't last the distance. I don't know, but it's a gorgeous scent. It's a beautiful, sophisticated, fruity scent. I really do feel like a lot, nothing really stands out to me. Like, I suppose you could say the tangerines, but it's a little bit sweeter from the pineapple. But I can, I can get like a touch of an apricot note. I get like the sandalwood a little bit. But it, it's all just really beautifully blended. So I have very much enjoyed this one. Um, I don't know if Waxy Taffy fits into my plans this year. Just, cut, you know, with cutting my purchases back so much. But this is a scent I would like to get again. I have really enjoyed that one. Now I've got a big pile of bags. So first up I have Super Tarts, Strawberry Pound Cake and Palo Santo. This one this is incredible. Um, so I love the Super Tart Strawberry Pound Cake Oil. She hasn't used it in many or any blends yet, but she did do a sample with it, and it is just it is perfection strawberry, creamy, beautiful strawberry pound cake goodness. With the Palo Santo, it was it was just like it was like strawberry pound cake, but somehow that warm, spicy, wooded scent just blended so beautifully with it, and you could smell both elements of it really well. I'm mostly smelling the palo in the bag right now, but when it was melting, I definitely could smell both. The ratio did shift over time because I do find those strawberry pound cake scents um, are not long, are not not for longevity. I find. So over time, the strawberry pound cake kind of dialed down a bit and the palo dialed up, but it was still beautiful at all stages. Like it was just, I was obsessed with this scent. Oh my goodness. I really would love for this to come back as like a specialty blend or something. I think this has been my favorite scent from the sampler so far. Um, if not, I do have a bit of her pound cake, uh, sorry, of her palo santo. Not enough of her strawberry pound cake for my liking, but I'm hoping to be able to get more this year. I would blend that myself. Or even, to be honest, like, if I was able to get more of the strawberry pound cake 
um, I'd use another vendor's palette as well. Like just, I don't know why, I've never done that combo before. I don't know if it was just like uniquely super tarts oils or what, but it was incredible. And it did throw very well as well, other than, you know, what I talked about with the strawberry pancakes performance over time. Uh, so a vintage chic sense, you would just got to keep livid man. So this is Palo Santo Midnight Pomegranate. I, this one really didn't throw. I had it in the bedrooms. It may have thrown when I first put it on, but after a couple of hours and I came to bed, after three or four hours, there was like, there was nothing going on in there. So not a repurchase, that one. Uh, Scoopable, this was a chunk bunt cake in uh, Supreme Strawberry Twinkies. So strawberry jam, whipped cream, cup of cake. I liked this one. I'm not a Twinkies fan, but because this one didn't have like a Twinkies oil, it had cup of cake. You know, I'm sure it was trying to approximate Twinkies, but it smelled better. And the strawberry jam that Rose Girl slash Scoopable uses is probably the only strawberry jam oil I've encountered at any vendor that I can tolerate. The rest smell really funky to me. Like, they just smell wrong. So yeah, I enjoy it. I don't know if it's repeatable. Like, I don't know if I would get it again, but I have enjoyed this bag and it did throw quite strongly. Super Tarts Saviour. So this is Lagoon Waters Pineapple Rain White Currant Cucumber and Lime. Loved this. Really loved this. Um, I remember enjoying this last time I melted it, but I think I was melting it, I think by the time it arrived, it was a bit past the peak of summer. So I remember enjoying it, but it wasn't like blowing me away but being able to melt this on like a warm summer's afternoon it was just to die for it was so good it's just this amazing crisp watery combo the rain i think just brings every makes everything alive um the pineapple i think in the light like it's not a strong pineapple scent or even a strong lime scent but there's definitely you know like some fruitiness in there there's like some sharper notes but oh, it's just so good like it was just the most epic refreshing different unique combo for a summer afternoon and it threw very strongly so I do have more of it I would continue to get more of this one just because an amazing summer scent just phenomenal L3 Waxy Wonders, a Beach Nights Wild Current Sandalwood Strawberry Musk. So I know I've enjoyed this one previously. But I melted it, honestly, I melted this in the bedrooms. And by the, again, by the time I came to bed, there wasn't much. I could smell some sandalwood and some musky notes, but that was kind of it. So yeah, it was it's okay, but just, yeah, kind of not performing the way I wanted it to. So I don't know if I'd get that one again. Um... Uh, mango, sorbet, blackberry, and fizzy soda. So I remember I did this custom combo because I love mango, sorbet, and blackberry. First up, I've never found that this one has performed as well as it should. K has a fantastic mango sorbet, um, but I'm not convinced on the blackberry. I think the blackberry has not done well for me in combos that I've tried it. So because this, look, it smelled nice, and I feel like the fizzy soda did, that doesn't come through much as well. I think if I was to repeat this combo again, um, I would do ginger ale instead of fizzy soda. I think that would probably perform better. Um, but also potentially, like, maybe doing it at that Smell Good Shop, because I know that Smell Good Shop has an epic blackberry and mango sorbet together. Like, they are just incredible. Like, this was good, and I could smell it, so it wasn't like it didn't throw at all, but... It's just a slightly fizzy, slightly lemon limey mango with just the slightest touch of blackberry, which is not what I wanted from it. Like, blackberry and mango, when it's right, it is so right. And this just never quite got there. So, uh, medium throw, I would say. Um, not something I would repurchase. But, I don't know, maybe, like I said, maybe I'll play around with that combo with ginger ale or something at that Smell Good shop because I just know that the... The blackberry and the mango sorbet there together is incredible. Uh, pumpkin macaw waffles and don't cross streams from L3. Ooh, what was that? Something. I thought it was a spider or something. There was like string hanging on the bag. Um, this has been really good. This has been classic, simple, but delicious pumpkin macaw waffles. 
Don't Cross Dreams is an epic vanilla bakery scent, so it just just the enhanced vanilla notes with pumpkin pecan waffles. Always loved it, always enjoy it. I do think I'd get more of it. Don't need a huge quantity of it, but just you know, a couple of bunts here and there. Just a really, really good scent. And it always throws quite strongly. Uh, Rose Girls, Getting Caught in the Rain. So this is Rum Soaked Pineapple, Maraschino Cherries, Coconut and Salty Sea Air. So this scent, I just loved. Um, this, I feel like every summer I have just a certain type of scent that I just vibe with. And every year it's different. And every year I don't know what sort of scents that's going to be until I get into summer like some years it's been like all about the fizzy us there's been some years where i just haven't i've gravitated to kind of warm woodsy scents and sandalwoods and this year really these kind of fruity sweet salty sea air scents um and this one because it's just yeah just the fruit the sweet fruity notes and the salty sea air it was just heavenly like it was so freaking good i know i melted this before and i was like yeah it's good but it's not like amazing this time it was amazing for me like it was just everything that i wanted in a wax melt like right then and there and it threw quite strongly as well in my lounge room it did do quite well so um yeah i might actually request this one with scoopable because i just like having it in the scoop formula especially in summer i've been really enjoying scoop formulas in summer because they get just that extra bit softer. They're actually much easier to scoop and I don't know. I just, I really enjoy scoops in summer. So this I feel like would be a good scoop scent to have next summer. But yeah, love that one. And then the last empty I have this week is Strawberry Pound Cake and Apple Jolly Rancher from Super Tart. So this was, I remember this was always a scent I was very skeptical about when I saw it in the sample list because candy scents apple jolly ranch and not really my thing but you know what i like this like the strawberry it was kind of like a creamy strawberry but with the apple candy it's hard to explain but it just it smells good it smells good her apple jolly rancher i will say of all of the candy scents her apple jolly rancher has been one of the better ones like it's just a bit more interesting a bit different anyway like it not love it, but liked it a lot. Um, it threw quite well. I don't know if I need to repurchase this. I do have one more because I bought two samplers, so I do have another one after this. Um, but I think I will enjoy melting that. All right, so now let's go into the un-empties or the unfinished wax. So I've got quite a few scoops this week because I went quite heavy into this week. Um, I really picked a lot from my Scoopable and Rose Girls drawer. And then the... Super Tarts bags drawer seems to be where most of my stuff came from. So uh, I have Vanilla Strawberry Noel from Scoopable. So Vanilla Wafer Strawberry Jam Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm kind of just running the clock on this one. I'm sort of ready just to finish it up. It's. I remember I really enjoyed it the first time I, melt, I got it from Rose Girls. This time around, I'm not sure because I do like a strawberry jam, this strawberry jam, but maybe it's the Vanilla Wafers. This is not my favourite bakery oil. So this one's probably a medium throw. I don't think I need to get it again. Colour Outside the Lines from Scoopable. So this is the Witching Hour, which I have no idea what that is. I had I did look it up when I purchased it, but can't remember now. Palo Santo Type and Honey. I very much like this scent. It's really interesting. It does have a slight perfume touch, but... It's a, it's a really beautiful woody sweet scent, but not in like a I couldn't even tell you how, how like what sort of way it's sweet. Like there's definitely sweetness there, I guess the honey, but yeah, I don't know. It's really pretty. It definitely reminds me of something. Like there's just there's something, it's like on the tip of my tongue, I know what the smell is. Or the oil or whatever it is that's in there, but I can't think of it right now. But anyway, very pretty. Good throw, maybe medium to high. Uh, I reckon that possibly would be a rare purchase. Love Me Tender Wackadoodle from Scoopable. So this was Palo Santo type, Royal Sugar Cookie and Monster Cookie. This is a good, solid um, Palo Santo bakery scent. 
I love a good Palo Santo cookie scent and this is it's not like outstanding in any way it's not like I've tried a lot of Palo Santo bakery and cookie scents and this one is not like better than the rest of them but it's just good like it's just a good one um yeah no I, I like it I don't know if I need to get it again I do think I have more I think I've got it in like a hard form wax as well so because I do like the monster cookie but I wouldn't say that it adds anything particularly unique or special here but still good solid scent through pretty well Nilla pineapple whip from scoopable so this one is pineapple wafers pineapple vanilla wafers and whipping cream it's interesting because I was just saying that I don't love the Nilla wafer scent but in here it's fine I don't know this one's just a fine pineapple scent nice creamy not too pineapple-y but it is pineapple enough you know just well blended I do love a creamy creamy pineapple and this one is nice because it's not like a tart pineapple but it's not sickly sweet either Although I do love a good sickly sweet pineapple. I do love a good syrupy pineapple, I should say. But this one is not that. But it's still a really good one. So I like that one. It threw pretty well. Medium, medium high, I'd say. Vintage Chic Scents. Um, I can never read properly when she uses like coloured fonts. This is Yellow Submarine. So this is pineapple and birthday cake. I melted this up here in my office. It was okay. It wasn't anything amazing. I enjoyed the pineapple, the birthday cake. Like, I'm not a huge birthday cake fan. I find it's a bit plasticky. I find it's just a bit fake smelling. In this, the pineapple kind of smoothed over those elements for me. So it was okay, but I've had much... I've had pineapple bakery since I like a lot, lot more than this one. So yeah, it was fine. It was maybe medium, maybe slightly less than medium. Like, I could smell it when I was sitting at my desk, but I couldn't really smell it around the room. Um, so yeah, not a repurchase. So I did, and I don't know if I can see the bag. Oh, it's over there. Um, so I put vanilla crunch donuts from Scoopable in with some fresh picked strawberry. Um, and I've just realized, decided, come to the conclusion that vanilla crunch donuts just doesn't smell like anything to me. It doesn't throw, it doesn't do anything. It waters down a scent. It's a shame because it smells nice on cold. Uh, that was my stomach. It's a nice smelling bakery scent, but I've never smelled it. Like, I, I feel like I had similar issues because I feel like I tried it from Rose Girls as well. Anyway, so what I ended up doing, and I think the bag is down over in the box over there, but because I, all I could smell was a watered down um, fresh picked strawberry and I just was not enjoying it, I ended up throwing in a little sample of Super Tarts Fake and Bake, which is uh, zucchini, bread, sugar cookie, and... Um, cream I think anyway and that was much better because that is a really nice bakery scent so just amped up the bakery notes which then kind of pushed the fresh picked strawberry up and it just elevated the whole thing so definitely was much better once I put the fake and bake in the vanilla crunch donuts maybe I'll share it, send this or not share it with someone else who might be able to smell it better than I can uh, I do enjoy the fresh picked strawberry so it's a nice strawberry blender so not an authentic smelling strawberry by any means, but it's a nice scent. So, Meant to be from Scoopable. So fresh picked strawberries, blackberry, mango, sorbet. I love this one. Again, like I was saying earlier, a good blackberry mango sorbet combo is just one of my all-time favorite fruity combos. So that smell good shop, amazing. Rose Girl slash Scoopable is the other brand. They're probably the two vendor brands that just have, for me, absolutely mind-blowing blackberry mango combos. And then with this one, the strawberries, the fresh picked strawberries in here. Like, to me, this is mostly a blackberry mango sorbet blend, but the strawberry just lifts it, enhances it a bit, makes it a bit different. Love it. Great throw. Definitely will continue to repurchase that one. Love Yourself Fluff Puffs from Scoopable. So this is Strawberry Shortcake, Mango Sorbet, Rice crispy Treats, Monster Cookie, and Mallow. Marshmallow. Um, this one is good. It always smells better on cold. I mean, sorry, on warm than it does on cold. When I smell it on cold, I think it's a Rice crispy Treat. I don't know. There's just something a bit funky about it. Or maybe it's a shortcake of the Strawberry Shortcake. 
but when you warm it it's just a nice fruity bakery it's not what i'm like crazy about but it's just it's nice it's solid it always does well um this has been a repurchase because i had it from rose girls in the past i don't think i need to get it once i'm done with this i think once i'm finished this scoop i will be done with it but i've enjoyed it Oop. losing wax uh, scoopable lemon biscotti noel. So this is lemon biscotti blended with vanilla bean noel. I melted this today in the uh, kitchen. And it's fine. It's just nothing unique or special. It is a nice lemon bakery. Nothing bad to say about it, but there's a lot of lemon bakeries out there and there's nothing that makes this one really stand out or seem unique. So I enjoyed it. It threw well. It has a bit of nice creaminess to it, but I probably don't need to repurchase it because it's just you know i think with i do enjoy a good lemon bakery but i just need it to be a little bit different these days and that one's not quite there i did i finish this one no i've got one melt left of this one so this is another waxy taffy in mango coconuts marshmallow so this is fresh mangoes coconut milk and marshmallows this is a not bad mango scent um i prefer a mango sorbet so there is quite a strong coconut note to this one i would say not so much a marshmallow. I feel like I don't really get a marshmallow tone. I get like a mango sorbet blended with a lot of coconut. So it's not my preferred way to have mango sorbet, but it's fine. Uh, throws medium to high. Probably not a repurchase, but it's fine. I might actually make sure I finish this one up in the next few weeks before sort of the summer months finish. When Doves Cry from Scoopable. So lavender tangerine blended with shaving cream. I really enjoy this one, especially, um, I like doing fruity shaving cream scents in the bedroom in summer. Like, I feel like it just kind of, it's a good way if I'm melting fruity scents around the house to kind of take that fruity vibe, keep it going, but then blend it into something. Shaving cream just makes, just, I don't know, it just, it gives me a good bedroom vibe. Like, I just, it just feels a bit more chill. Um, I don't love shaving cream in, ev in everything, but like that in a fruity scent for the bedroom i do enjoy so it's it throws pretty well it's possibly a repurchase like i always do enjoy that one um i need to move the wax closer to me for some reason i feel like i'm melting a lot lately so i'm heading into the office two days a week at the moment so there's two mornings of the week where i'm not um where I'm not putting wax on, but I have been putting wax on I get home. That said, this week, no, it shouldn't change. I was going to say, because we've probably got a few different, more, like my son's going to be doing an extra, like, outside of school, um, like, activity class and stuff. Um, so I was thinking maybe I'd be wet, melting list, but no. Anyway, ignore me, I'm just tangenting here. And I've just dropped some wax. Um, and I can't be bothered leaning down to pick it up, so it's going to stay there for now. Uh, L3, that's because it's right below, like, my chair, so I'd have to get out of my chair. Uh, Legotastic Orange Chiffon Cake Cashmere Cedar and Vanilla. So, this is a scent that I always enjoy. I think, though, that on cold, I really smell kind of a... Fruitiness. I don't know if it's it's probably more the chiffon, the orange chiffon cake than the Lego Tastic. Lego Tastic is star fruit mango or mango sorbet. So I don't get a huge mango blast from it, but I do get the orangeness. But I feel like mixed with the cashmere cedar. But I feel like when it melts, I mostly get cashmere cedar with maybe just a slight citrusy fruity pop. So I do enjoy it. I think it's a good combo. But I do wish that the fruits came out more. I just wish it was more fruity. But still, I always enjoy cashmere cedar and just the the little bit of the fruitiness to it. It is a really nice twist for this for that scent, but I just want more. So it does throw quite well. Um, maybe I would custom it in future, but would ask for more citrus or blend it in a different way. Like I think that is a very promising combo. I just yeah, I want more. Um, da -da -da -da. So this labelless bag is uh, L3 Waxy Wonders Bell of the Ball, which I can't remember the exact notes, but I know it's like a lemon 
cupcake, pineapple, something scent. Maybe coconut. I really enjoy it. Like, it's, to me, it's like the best of both worlds with like a lemon bakery and a pineapple bakery. It just goes together very well. I can smell both elements of it. Right now, I'm not smelling much of this piece, but I know it grew pretty well when I melted it this morning. Um, this one did take a long time to get going, like cure-wise. I remember the first couple of times I melted it, it didn't do so well. Um, so it kind of hung around in the box for a while, and now it's drying pretty well. So uh, I would get this blend again. I might get it in a scoop, just because I find if I have a blend from L3 that I enjoy, but maybe it was a bit fussy with the throw, which this one I think was, then I find getting it in a scoop tends to just make it work. So I do think I'd get that one in a scoop again because I just really enjoyed the lemon and pineapple combo. Mouse ears, got this going down in my lounge room at the moment from Super Tarts, Ice Lemonade and Lollipops, absolute classic summertime scent. Just adore it. It is super strong. It is just the right mix of like a really tart, delicious lemonade and then just enough sweetness from that lollipop. Yeah, I've had this, I've, I haven't done just straight up mouse ears in a long time. I've done a lot of combos with it, but mousey, it's just so beautifully refreshing. It's just fantastic. So, like I said, incredibly strong throw. Definitely will continue to repurchase that one. On and off, like, you know, I go without it for a while because I have other mousey blends and I come back to it. You know. Um, I did Palo Santo from L3 with Zucchini Bread and Cookie Crack, also from L3. I think that this Zucchini Bread Cookie Crack loaf, I think I've left it sit too long and I think it's pretty much dead. I can smell it here cold. So the problem with this loaf right from the start, well, the first problem is that I accidentally bought two of them. So this is the second one. So I have melted my way through the first one. The second problem is that the cookie crack scent has her pink frosted animal cookies oil in it and that I cannot smell. There is no scent to that one to me. I know not everyone feels the same way, so I'm sure it's just my nose, but I can't smell it. So cookie crack, I think it's like the pink frosted animal cookies and whipped cream and maybe sugar, sugar cookie dough. So it kind of just smells like a mild whipped cream scent. So it does sort of dial this combo down overall. But yeah, I really couldn't smell a lot from either of this. Like I could smell a bit of Palo Santo. But, yeah, like, considering how amazing her Palo and her zucchini bread are, what I was expecting from this and what I got was just, yeah. Yeah, so, her Palo Santo, I will say, her Palo Santo really does benefit from a good cure. Because, um, I remember when I first got this and how it smells now, and they're quite different things. So, um... And this does smell quite different. I had trig tarts from of Palo Santo from L3, and they smelled quite different to every other vendor's Palo Santo. And I remember being a bit confused by that because I was like, her, her blends don't smell that different to everyone else's. And this does smell more like the, like, kind of, not the same, but similar to Super Tarts Palo Santo, where it's kind of a less creamy but it's more sort of sharp and incense like but it smells different to the trig tarts so i don't know if i got like dud trig tarts or what happened but anyway um so yeah this combo did not perform well unfortunately and i don't know what i'm going to do about the remaining wax that i have there with the uh, zucchini bread blend l3 mango cobbler so this was one of a few new oils that i remember l3 poured a while ago september i think um, I wasn't a huge fan of this oil when I first got it, but it is growing on me. It is definitely growing on me. Um, I actually really enjoyed it this time. I do think it is a good warm summer morning melt. It is very strong, incredibly strong. It smells a lot like a baked kind of mango filling. Like a real, like a real kind of rich mango kind of coolest but yeah not spiced per se but like just warm you know so yeah i started off i don't know 
not loving the scent, but this time around it was perfect. So I actually do think I'll get this one again. Like I very, very much enjoyed that one. Uh, Super Tarts Block Party. So this is Creamsicle, Blueberry, Cheesecake and Sugar Cookies. So this one I like. I've melted a few times now. Like it's a bit odd, but it just works. Like the creaminess, the cheesecake, the creamsicle notes, a little bit of blueberry offset by the sugar cookies. It just, it works for me. I don't know why. On cold, it definitely smells like it shouldn't work, but it does work. Throws pretty well. Um, I think it is, it is one I don't need huge amounts of, but it is one I'm happy to keep repurchasing. And I have, that is already a repurchase. Singing in the Mountain Rain from Rose Girls. So, Amber Floral Spa Rain Crisp Ozone. This one was funny because I got confused. Um, because I grabbed this because it looked very similar to this muffin, which was Don't Be Salty. And so I thought I was putting Don't Be Salty on, but I actually put Singing in the Rain on. And I remember, because they're quite different. So, Don't Be Salty is Cucumber Rain Salty Sea Air. Don't Be Salty is a very, 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 very salty scent. Um, and so I was quite confused when it was melting because I could smell something, but I could smell zero salt. And I was like, that don't be salty is just not working anymore. Whereas this is more kind of masculine, fresh. Yeah, this one is very cologne-like to me, but it, it also is a bit muted. So it was kind of fresh and rainy, but so I didn't kind of, because I didn't realize... If you think something, when something's melting and your brain believes that it should have different scent notes, it can be very hard to kind of then play back and say, well, this is what it smelled like. Because my brain, all my brain was recognizing was that it didn't smell like the salty sea air. So I can't really say how I felt about this one melting because I just, all I know is it was, it didn't smell like this, but of course it didn't. Um, I will say though, so I did melt my don't be salty later. I need to finish this one up because the throw has decreased quite a bit for this one. Um, this one used to be one of the strongest scents that I owned and now it's kind of medium high. So I think I've got one more muffin after this so I need to finish this one up and hopefully maybe get into the next one. I do enjoy it. It is very, very salty but it's very fresh. It's just a very nice scent. It's not Maybe not 100% my wheelhouse this summer. Like, this, I've been sort of into more salty scents combined with fruity. Maybe I should put something fruity in it. See how that goes. Um, but still, I do enjoy it. Possibly a repurchase. I'm not sure. Wise Men from Super Tarts. This is Spearmint Palo Santo Rain Water Eucalyptus and Thyme. Very unique scent. Really do enjoy this one, though. Yeah, I don't even... I honestly don't know where to begin with this. To describe it but it is super fresh like quite aquatic but herbal you can smell the spearmint palo santo not so much i don't feel like you get a lot of palo out of this but yeah look i think if the scent combo intrigues you it is definitely worth trying i very much enjoy it this is the I've repurchased this already, um, and I probably would again. And it is a very strong scent. It's, but it's very, very different. I think. Uh, pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, and espresso from L3. One of my absolute favourites. I do kind of, on the one hand, I feel like I need to really work this one and finish it up because it's kind of two years old now, and I do think. Like L3, a lot of scents I've found can last over two years. Um, maybe, but if if they don't, it tends to be a bakery scent if it's one that's not going to last that long. But this one is still throwing really strongly. And it is just the perfect bakery with a bit of coffee combo. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. And yeah, this one is just always heaven. So I've kind of been torn between wanting to like sort of hoard this one a bit but also wanting to finish it because if this one if this one was to stop performing as well I'd be devastated that I didn't get a full loaf's worth out of it um I will definitely repurchase this one when I finish though it's amazing 
uh, Super Tarts Hotel Cortez. So this one I think is called Spiced Pumpkins now. I don't understand the names. I know she went through an exercise and renamed a whole bunch of scents. Most of them I think fit really well with the blend. But Spiced Pumpkins makes no sense because this one does not smell like pumpkins or spice. Uh, this one is Pumpkin Cum Waffles, which I guess is where the name came from, but plus uh, Cinnamon Spice, Cinnamon Donuts, and Trailish Cake. I suppose because it's got Cinnamon Donuts, that's where they were going with it, but to me, it is definitely not pumpkin-y, and I really don't get spice. I mean, it probably mixes in with the bakery, but it's just a delicious bakery blend. Like, it's just simple, straightforward, um... But it's also not a bakery blend I've encountered anywhere else. It's just delicious. So I got a ban bag of this one in Wax Wednesday. My Wax Wednesday order is sitting at the forwarder. Um, I think it landed like a week ago. So I think I'm still waiting for two more. I've got so Super Tarts Advents, which I ordered, was one of my planned must-do orders. And then I do have... A couple of because there was a couple of scents from super tarts that I did say I would go in for if she had them and she's been doing like random restocks of band bag pieces and a few of those scents were there so I have done a few orders from super tarts this month but I'm pretty much done now because I think I've topped up on everything that I could possibly need to top up on from super tarts so, anyway um but yeah this one I had to have a band bag off because I love it Medium to high throw. It could be stronger, but it does. It does fine. Uh, Super Tarts Flash. So Flash is like strawberry white cake and lemonade and maybe something else. Um, it is good. I don't know if it's like amazing. I feel like maybe there's some notes in there lurking, whether it's in the strawberry or something that I don't love. But then I do love like the lemonade scent. Like it's not bad melting, but it's just not what I'm like super crazy about. I don't actually know why I bought it. I think I did enjoy the first clamshell I had of it, so I bought the two donuts, but then I just haven't really been into it since. So um, I might try and melt it a bit more this summer though, because it is two years old. It's still throwing very strongly though. So don't think I need to repurchase that one. It just hasn't really been one that I've been drawn to, but it's fine. Rose Girls PD Colada. So this is uh, Lemon Poppy Cake. Poppy seed cake, pina colada, and marshmallow smoothie. Um, this one has really grown on me. I do really enjoy this one now. When I first got it, I think I was really hoping for like a pineapple lemon bakery, like the L3 one. Um, but because pina colada is not really like a typical pineapple scent, it just didn't quite get there. But now I really enjoy it for what it is. And it is a lemon pineapple scent. Like I am enjoying it. In fact, I think maybe the pineapple is coming out more in it than it used to. So, good scent. Good throw. Um, possibly a repurchase. I think I do want to finish it off soon though. Uh, Moody from Super Tarts. So, Cedar, Wood, Rain and Juniper Berry. I love, love, love this blend. It is incredible i love her rain scent the woody cedar and juniper berry scent this is just moody woodsy right you know light showers walking through like a peaceful woods it's beautiful i will say this one throw i do wish it was throwing more and i feel like it did when i first got it so i don't know if i mean this bag is i don't know it's not that old so it's definitely over a year old. Um, anyway, still love free purchase always. Empire Alchemy Zephyr by the Sea. So this is a fresh, clean air, sea salt, and lilac bouquet. So I repurchased this one because I've had it before. I absolutely loved it. I still do love it, but I definitely think there is oils that are headache triggers in here for me. That, I don't know if it's the lilac or if it's the, like fresh clean air. Sometimes those oils just really, even if I'm smelling it now, I can feel it, you know. So I enjoy this one, but it's one that I can't be too close to when it's melting. But it is a beautiful, floral, fresh, um, just really, really amazing blend. And super strong throw, incredibly strong throw, but just, yeah. 
doesn't really agree with me. Deadpool and Wonderland from Super Tarts. Um, I can't actually remember what this blend is. I know it's like a fruity, fruity, fruity combo. Like, I think the Deadpool is... I can't remember. Anyone, anyway, this one, it does smell really good, but it didn't throw very well. It's kind of medium, maybe even slightly lower than medium. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know why it didn't perform. Because it just smells like a really great mix of fruits. Not too sweet. Like, there's citruses in there. There's really good stuff going on in there. But, yeah, performance-wise, not so great. <sighs> Bloody Face from Super Tart. So, this one is the... Is it the, like the blood orange and rain and pink sugar combo, I think? I think so, and I really do enjoy it. Again, Super Tarts Rain, just love that oil, love it in everything. And this blend, yeah, it's hard to describe. It's definitely got citrus, so I think it's got the blood orange, but the pink sugar just kind of, I don't know, mutes it. It's really nice, though. Um, throws very well, definitely a repurchase, although this bag... Well, it's not a full band bag, but you know, there's a bit in there. I've been really lazy. Like, the Super Tarts pieces are quite big at the moment, but I haven't been cutting them down, which I should be because, like, one of these pieces is probably the size of two clamshell cubes, and one clamshell cube is nearly always a perfect, a perfect amount like for my warmer. So I really should be cutting those squares down but I've just been so lazy lately I'll just I've been doing my changes so quickly that I've just been grabbing the pieces and chucking them in so I'm probably overusing the wax which I don't think it makes that much of a difference really to the performance but it's just because I'm not like filling the warmer up to the brim or anything um but it's just a waste you know Scottish Fog so this was the one that was Outlander which I think is like Blue Lagoon and Someone was saying it's Blue Lagoon, and it's got, like, peppermint. So I do enjoy this one a lot. I think that it is maybe a touch more masculine than I like my scents like this to be. They're sort of really fresh, green, crisp. But the, the, the peppermint in here does smell really good. Like, it is a good blend, but there's just this... It's just lightly cologne like in a way that I would prefer it not to be but I still really like it so it is a very strong scent possibly a repurchase I know a lot of people really do love that one and I do like it as well I just feel like there are other scents in that sort of wheelhouse that I think in my brain I kind of compare it to Arrow which is also kind of a slightly masculine like woodsy also with peppermint sort of blend and I just they're, they're different but there's similarities, and I think I just gravitate more to, like, Arrow than I do to that one. Anyway. Uh, Merry Mouse from Super Tarts. This one is Christmas Tree Ice Lemonade Lollipops. So this is a very, very lovely scent. I'm melting it in the bedrooms at the moment. The Christmas tree smells really good with the ice lemonade and the lollipops. It doesn't smell super tree-like. But this adds a really unique something to this blend. It throws well. I don't think I need to repurchase it because in hindsight, I've said this before, the band bag was too much. It's just not a blend I reach for enough to justify this much wax of it. But I do enjoy it. Like, a couple of clamshells would have been more than enough for that one. Uh, Manger from Super Tarts. This one is Ozone Violet, Citrus Peel, Herbal Lavender and Cedar. Uh, this one... I don't remember this one melting and it's very strange because it is quite a strong scent. I don't know if it's a favourite, like I feel like it's a little bit powdery. It's not bad, but yeah, there's a bit of a powdery tone to it. But yeah, I can't really comment because this time I just don't remember it melting, so sorry about that. I am nearly done. Uh, I need a vacation from Rose Girls, so Gilligan's Brew, Pina Colada, Strawberry, Raspberry, Guava, Marshmallow Smoothie. This one I've never really gelled with that well. Yeah, it's it's fruity, but it's a bit oversweet. And honestly, this one this one I don't think throws very well. So, although I this one was cut into really small band pieces, so maybe I'm not putting enough in the warmer. For me, Rose Girls, you do need to have a bit in the warmer. I know other people 
have to do it differently and go bare minimum. For me, that doesn't work with Rose Girls. So I think I was only putting two of the mini melters and they are quite small. So maybe I'll try more next time. But yeah, I don't know. It's not a favourite. It's fine. And then the last scent I have here today is Patchouli Rain and Newt Scamander from L3. So Rainforest Sugarcane, Sea Salt, Moss and Amber. So this I loved and that's blended with. So the Rainforest Sugarcane, Sea Salt, Moss and Amber is the uh, Newt Scamander and then I add Patchouli Rain to it. I've had this custom before. It is really, really good. Super watery, rainforest, fresh, earthy. You know, the mossy amber tones with the patchouli rain, like the earthiness to this is really unique and beautiful. Oh, incredible. Um, great throw. I don't know why I don't use this one that much. I need to use this one a lot more. Um, I, at this stage, that one is still a repurchase to me. Okay, that's it. That's everything that I melted this week. Um, so like I said, another hot week, another week of summer melting, probably very, very different to what most of you are encountering at the moment. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all doing really well and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.